Hey guys, back for another video. I uh, thought I'd do a video on one of my other fish in my tank. It's a how-to video on my yellow Watchman Gobi. And, uh, alright, let's get started. Um, you cannot see my yellow Watchman Gobi right now because he's hiding, of course. And I'm just going to start off the video by saying this. They always hide. Just be, pre be prepared when you buy a yellow Watchman Gobi, really any Gobi. Uh, just be prepared to not see it very often because they will hide. Um, personally, I like fish that hide because that just makes it all the more special when they come out. But um, uh, still, uh, just bear in mind they do hide like all the time. Um, when I feed the tank, he tends to pop out and grab some food and then uh, back up back into his little cave um, in the very back of the rock work. But yeah, so they're very, very shy. I have not seen him be aggressive. Oh, I take that back, actually. When I bought my yellow Watchman Gobi, he's actually a blue-spotted yellow Watchman Gobi. They cost a little more, a little bit more. Uh, but uh, yeah, my Watchman Gobi, um, his name's Oscar. Oscar, I got him the same time I got him, I got a Hector's Gobi. If you, if you know what a Hector's Gobi is, it's this little skinny uh, striped Gobi with um, like... Uh, horizontal stripes or uh, vertical stripes. I'm sorry. Uh, some so they're kind of they're like Rainsford gobies, but darker. Anyway, I got him my yellow watchman goby and my Hector goby at the same time. I put them in the tank. They were both doing fine, and um, my yellow watchman goby ended up killing my Hector goby. So just keep in mind, they will go after the other gobies. They will potentially kill other gobies, especially if they're small ones, like the Hector's goby. So if you have like a Neon goby, uh, Rainsford goby, Hector's goby, um, Green Banded goby, uh, Yellow Clown goby, anything like that that's really small, I would not recommend putting them with them, with any other gobies like that. Uh, unless it, it might uh, be because of the size of my tank, it's 24 gallon. Um, if you have a bigger tank, it would be a problem, I don't think, but a uh, 24 gallon, I definitely would recommend you keep him as the only goby in your tank. Also, I would not put him with any other burrowing fish, like jawfish and um, other, definitely no other um, prawn gobies or shrimp gobies because he would, because cause they like to hang out in the same area and of course he doesn't like gobies, so that would definitely be a problem. And jawfish, jawfish and uh, gobies, I would not put them with unless you have a larger tank, upwards of 55 gallons, I would say. Um, all right, he's great though. Uh, other than that, he he cleans my sand. He'll get some sand in his mouth and then kind of eat all the stuff out of it. Um, so feeding, it's not like what I was worried about when I first got him was I was feeding it. I would feed my tank and I would never see him eat. And I actually asked one, someone at my local fish store, and I realized that he actually eats his stuff out of the sand most of the time. That's what is basically his diet mostly consists of the stuff in the sand. So don't worry about food. If you don't see him eating, that's fine. He's still getting food. Um, but the food I do feed him, uh, same as I, I, they're basically just meat eaters. So I feed my tank uh, for the meat. I feed them tetracolor. Marine flakes, um, hickory, s, um, marine pellets, uh, instant ocean, marine blend gel food, instant ocean brine shrimp gel food, uh, frozen mysis shrimp. So anything like that, any meaty food, he'll do fine with. Um, but so um, he hides a lot. That's his personality. He hides a lot. He will potentially be a threat to other gobies and jawfish, and. Um, I've never heard, had a jawfish, but from what I've heard and what I've read and the fact that they both share the same living quarters, I would not put those two together um, unless you have a big tank. And uh, food, fine, as long as he's getting something meaty in his diet, uh, brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, omnivore food, anything like that, fine. Uh, but this is something uh, you can see this actually happening in one of my earlier videos, but uh, my lawnmower bunny uh, started, he, he's been fine with my blue spotted yellow watchman goby, 
all the, from the time I've had them in, they've all always got along. My yellow watchman was in here before he was, but they were they got along fine. But then one day, my uh, lawnmower bunny decided to just go after my yellow watchman goby. And if you look on my how to scarlet skunk cleaner shrimp, you can actually see it live. Uh, when it's actually happening for the first time, you can actually see it. You'll see my um, yellow watchman go like shooting around the tank, darting around the tank, and sand's f coming up everywhere. And it's, uh, apparently, they just got a little. My lawnmower bunny got a little territorial with him for a second. Um, didn't go on for too long, and I haven't really seen it happen again. So maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe it won't happen again. But still, just keep that in mind. Uh, Blennies and. Uh, larger bunnies and uh, your yellow watchman goby may not get along from time to time, but those two are usually fine. But if you do want to see it, I recommend you uh, click my how to scarlet skunk cleaner shrimp. Okay, so, um, oh, length, he gets about three inches. I've heard four inches um, before. Mine's three inches, but I've heard that they can get four inches and t recommended tank size probably 20 gallon minimum uh, unless he's like the only fish so yeah now you know a little bit about the yellow watchman goby alright thanks guys comment rate subscribe